Hi, I'm Missy Allen from Armanino, and I'll be taking you through the revenue management module in Dynamics AX today. The slide in front of you has a list of all the key features that come in the revenue management module. The two big ones being the ability to actually reallocate your revenue based on EITF 0801 and SOP 97-2 rules, um, and the ability to defer and automatically recognize your revenue based on your revenue recognition schedules. So let's just jump right into the software and take a look at this. Um, right now, we are looking at the sales order screen in Dynamics AX, and the order that I have set up is a multi-element order. It has installation, hardware, and support. This could also have software and other services as well. The type of item that is set up on the sales order drives the reallocation method um, that is used. So if we look at the revenue reallocation, these transactions got created when I confirmed my sales order. And you can see each of the line items set up here and the revenue type associated. So this is set up on the item itself and it's used to do this reallocation. So the revenue type of essential, non-essential, or PCS are the options that are available to you. So you can see that it split the support between essential and non-essential. And when we scroll over to the right, you can see the calculation that was performed. So According to the sales order, you have a total of $3,000 for installation. AX calculated that the recognition value needs to be $3,500. So this reallocation amount is what will be used to be posted to your deferred revenue or revenue accounts, depending on the setup of the item, and also what can be used to do reporting and revenue projections um, within the system. So your revenue projections become more accurate and according to what's actually going to be posted instead of what's on the sales order. Now what is on the sales order here is still what the customer will see. So these are the values that will be invoiced to them so they are completely um, separated from this process that's happening on the back end. Okay. So the reallocation happens as of confirmation um, and then when you invoice the sales order, if you have a revenue recognition schedule set up on the sales order line, you can see down at the line details, I also have a start and end date of my contract. So the revenue schedule set up for 12 months. It's starting on January 1st, going through December 31st of 2014. These dates can be changed and altered however you need to based on your contracts um, throughout the life of the sales order. But you also have the option, if I click on the revenue recognition schedules that were generated upon invoice, I have the ability to come in here and update the co-terms here, which will allow me to change the start and end dates of the contract after the deferral um, has happened and after the revenue recognition schedules have been calculated. So I do have that option here as well. So the revenue recognition schedules have been calculated for me automatically. If we scroll over to the right, you'll be able to see the total amount, the recognized date here, and the total amount that's going to be recognized per month on the, on the support contract, so starting on January 1st and going through December. Um, these are the values that will be recognized per month. I also have one line for installation, so this is an, an occurrence um, type of transaction, which means that it's automatically put on hold until someone in your organization notifies you that the uh, installation has actually happened and you can recognize your revenue. At that point, you can come in, remove it from hold, and then it will be included in your batch job to calculate the revenue. So generating the revenue on here is as simple as just clicking Create Journal, and you can choose either a selected date or the revenue schedule date, and you can say the selected, the as of dates 1210. So any revenue that has a recognition date of 1210 or earlier will be included in this batch job, and it will generate a journal that will remove it from deferred revenue and put it into your uh, associated revenue account based on the item itself. So that's an overview of the revenue recognition module in Dynamics AX. If you're interested in a more detailed demonstration that's more tailored to your company and your requirements, we would be happy to do that. So please just contact Armanito. Thank you.